ladies welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for watching so today's look is going to be on the look that I was wearing in my November favorites as well as the eye makeup that I was wearing in a selfie I posted on Instagram this past Sunday I believe I got tons of questions on what I was wearing on my eyes so that is what I'm doing for you guys today in this video however I am not showing you guys how to do the face I do that in every single one of my tutorials so I thought I would do something different and just show you guys how I achieve the eyes and I am going to show you guys the lips as well because I did get tons of questions on the lips also also I am going to be announcing the giveaway winners at the end of the video so yeah that is pretty much it I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you after I finish my eyes to talk to you guys about the giveaway winners so I'll see you guys later bye Okay you guys, so you know the drill. Start off by priming your eyelids. I'm taking my Macro Long Wear Concealer to do so. Then I'm going to take the shade Caramel and this is an Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow. I believe she has this eyeshadow as a single now. So if you didn't get a palette, you can go ahead and purchase it on its own. But if you have Max shadow or a caramel type of eyeshadow that will work just fine and I'm going to put that on my crease as a transition shade and then I went in with the color warm taupe which is also a shade by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is really similar to max wedge so if you have that one then you can just put that right on top of this and this is just going to add a little bit of more depth into the look the next color I'm taking is called Morocco and this one is only in the Amrezy palette. Unfortunately that palette is sold out but if you have Makeup Geeks Coco Bear or Max Brown Script or Rule, any of those three eyeshadows will be just fine. You want a brown shadow that has a red tone to it. Pretty much all I'm doing with this shadow is putting it in the outer corner and then moving it inwards towards the inner corner and I'm leaving the center of the eyelid completely blank. I did the same technique in my last video and again it's one of my favorites so that's pretty much all you want to do and then I took that same blending brush that we first used just to blend out any edges. So now I am taking Sienna and this is a red tone eyeshadow. I believe you can use Max Brick. It's the same exact color. I am pretty sure of it and you just want to put this in the same areas where you applied Morocco. This eyeshadow, this look pretty much is very red tone. It has a lot of brick colors, a lot of oranges, orange tone shadows, red tone shadows so that's exactly why I love it. So you just want to put that in the same spots in the inner and the outer corners then I'm going to take China Rose also by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to pat that in the center of the eyelids with my eyes you don't have to do this step I decided to do it just to add something extra to the look but you don't need to do it it's not necessary so now for the star of the show I am taking my Bobbi Brown glitter eyeshadow and this one is in the shade silver lilac it's very pinky kind of glittery purple type of shadow. I first patted it on my eyelids with my finger and then I went in with a wet brush, a brush that had some fake plus and I intensified the pigment in the center. You don't have to intensify if you don't want it but this is what makes the eyeshadow kind of glow and have the glitter that you guys liked so much in my last video. And then once I have that I go back in with the brush that has a little bit of sienna on it and I just blend out those edges. I also just to go in with my finger and I pat it further. If you don't have this eyeshadow, I definitely recommend using the Stila Shadows in Dusty Rose. I believe it is the same shade and I believe it's even cheaper. So that's a good alternative. And then go back in once more with that brush and I'm just blending, blending, blending. I love to blend this look because the more smoked out it looks, the more blown out it looks. I love it. So go ahead and take a makeup wipe and wipe off any excess glitter that might have fallen off. And then you want to go ahead and apply some false lashes. I am using Red Cherry number 43, but you can also use the Ardell Wispies. They are the exact same thing. Go ahead and give yourself a small kind of winged liner. 
nothing too dramatic. I went back in with Sienna and I put that in the lower lash line and then I took a little bit of caramel and I smoked out the bottom lash line even further. And then I also took a kind of champagne goldy type of shadow and I applied that to my brow bone as a highlight. So like I said, I did my face already just to save some time so we're going to skip right into the lips. For lips, I am taking the Jordana Lip Pencil in Eggplant. This is one of my favorites. It looks kind of weird on here. It looks very choppy and kind of, it looks like it's hard to work with and it kind of is a little bit, but it's still a great base. Then I took Strumpet by OCC Cosmetics and oh my god, you guys, I can't seem to take this lipstick off. And once you have done that, you are pretty much done. So stay tuned for the giveaway winners. Now it's time for the giveaway winners and really quickly I just wanted to thank you guys so much especially to those who really pour their heart out in a comment section and kind of just shared with me your story and what you feel you're here for and it truly truly meant so 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 much to me that you guys did that for me because I chose to use that question because I myself have been feeling a little bit lost and I have been feeling a little bit conflicted of what I want to do with my life so reading you guys' comments and it just it just meant so much to me and some of you guys even made me cry and I don't want to get emotional now but it was just awesome because I am a complete stranger to you guys you guys don't know me I mean I have I do know a couple of you guys because you guys are my personal friends that I went to school with and stuff but for those of you guys who don't know me it you guys have no idea how much it means to me the support that you guys are giving me and the fact that you're telling me that you guys will support me it's so crazy how you guys believe in me when I myself sometimes feel a little bit doubtful about myself and my makeup skills and my video quality and you know my youtube channel overall and you guys have so much positivity to share with me and i kind of needed that right now i've been kind of lost a little bit and it just feels amazing to know that i have people and friends pretty much because i see you guys as my friends friends that i can count on and friends that will always try to give me the best advice and you guys have no idea how much that means to me and i also want to say that i am so sorry that i can't give this price to pretty much all of you guys um it was so hard to it was so hard to nail it down to two people i had the toughest 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 time i even called my boyfriend crying and i told him i'm like it's so hard because i don't want you guys to feel like your purpose in life is not big or it's not good because you didn't win so if you did not win please don't be discouraged because your purpose here in life is great we all came here for with a mission and i am just i'm just so thrilled i'm so blessed that you guys just are liking my videos and stuff and i love the fact that you guys are getting to know my personality and you guys are kind of getting the sense that i'm very down to earth i'm very humble i'm going to be posting the giveaway winners now in a little slide. If you did win, please message me with your information and your address. Um, you can either email me or message me here on YouTube. I will be checking or you can tweet me or Instagram me so that I can get your information to have the prices shipped out to you. So thank you guys so much. I love you guys so, so, so very much. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.